NKC baby. We are here in Kansas City. The, the, the beer guys have been checking a lot of places out. Hey, did I tell you? We have been in as many places as we walked out of, but we discovered NKC, North Kansas City. It's booming. We got chicken on pickle there. We got a live music across the street. We got two more breweries that we haven't been to. This is the place that's happening in Kansas City, and we are excited to try something that we've never been to. Are you ready to go to the Cinder Block Brewery? Come on! Let's go and find out what they've got to offer here in NKC. I'm excited to see what we're going to find behind this door. Follow me. As soon as we walked in, I couldn't help but notice all of the merchandise, man. I mean, they got a really good selection of merchandise. And, you know, they're brewing it right on site here. You, know, you can see everything to get the beer going. But, man, you got to check out some of their shirts because it's nice. But this place is big. I mean, you can see, you know, that it's got plenty of room on. This is like one area of the tap room. And this in itself is a nice big space. But then you see you go through this little door here, you're opened up to another space. I would say they probably rent this section out because it's it's kind of its own little bar and you see they got a nice big screen on there. I mean, this, this little area here would be awesome for um, event rental and stuff like that. And then you go out the door and there's even more stuff out here. I mean, you got a huge patio uh great area out here you got tables you see you got cornhole out here you got i think there was another bar over there and um yeah just a lot of space nkc baby here we are north kansas city and we are in for a treat in my opinion we have never been here before the beer guys are here visiting kansas city and uh, we're at a location that we have just fell in love with place is and nice. not even tasted the beer. No, yeah, this place is nice. It's a Friday night. We hear music over here, lots of activities. We got a big chicken and pickle across this way. They're playing games here. We got cornhole. Uh, the name of the brewery is the Cinder Block Brewery. And a well known person once said, Upon this rock, I will build my church. And I feel we might have found a rock to build our church tonight with the beer guys yeah. and beer. And so here's the other deal. They they offer a flight. You got two choices for the flight. Yeah. One is uh, it's predetermined. It's their flagship, right? It's uh, six beers for $16. Yeah. It's a pretty good deal. Or you can choose your own for 20 But since it's our first time here... Let's try their, their main Let's shit. Let's try their right? best. Yeah, There's absolutely. a pills that they've got over there we might try before we go out too. But hey, you know what? This, uh, this is a great selection of beer, uh, and I'm excited. The first one, we've got a, a real fine lager that they say uh, has been around for a while, and we're about to see what it looks like. Yeah, what, real what fine. What else does it say about it? Real fine lager is their American-style lager. It's uh, brew mm. is made with Pilsner. Malt and rice. It has a refreshing crisp taste, followed by a slight malt sweetness. A lot darker uh, than a pilsner. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, kind of rem reminiscent to what you might find in a, uh, even darker than a Budweiser, really. Uh, it's got a different taste, a more clovier taste. Um, not a fan of it. I, I probably would not buy that after tasting it, but I'm not a real big lager fan either. But let's see. Uh, Marginal to say the least for me. So, yeah, I, I'm not. I mean, it's a little watery. Like, could yeah, I, it's and, like, and, and it's got a and lot of clovey, water, clovey. I mean, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know of an American lager I like. I mean, I, I <laughs> like American lagers. Like I like it. Like we had German or Czech or. I mean. I don't know what I it, guess you could put wait what the, the American lager is what don't they say is the king of beers that, that oh that's it's the, the Budweiser that's shit? the lager oh I mean that's what America well, that was tastes like supposedly a built on Coors Budweiser that does not I guess. That, no uh, that that's no I 
All right. I, so I, the I first one is. I'd rather have a bud. I'm sorry, but um. All right. Well, this one's going to be better. I know it is. So it's a wit. Weathered wit. So what, Weathered what's a wit, wit what's a is wit? true to its style. It's a Sizon? Sizon, maybe? It smells Once like Once again, it. man, I don't like know. <laughs> People have to comment on this shit because like, I don't know what a wit is. I like it. Whatever it is, it's 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 good. It's 5.2 alcohol, by the way. That was 4.2 that first Well, one. yeah. It, I mean, yeah. Get a Budweiser. Oh, that, good. that is good. Yeah. Hey, whatever the wit is, that's... Go, let us know what wit yeah, is. Let let us remember, know. we're not connoisseurs. Mm, we just no, no. We taste something we like. We it, try we it, it. Like, oh, that's good. Great atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, it is. Next good. up, we've got the juicy pills. Oh yeah. Apparently, this has got to be something to do with pilsners, right? Absolutely, hoppy pilsner. Ooh. Clean, more crisp beer with a hop pack, juicy. Yep. That does not. I mean, that does not. Tastes there's like nothing, a pills. There's nothing that says pilsner about that. <laughs> that's not, that. That's more like a hoppy, um, like a oh, hoppy God, pale. That's a pilsner. No, it's not. And you know, what's funny is I, I I saw the American pills that they had up there, and I was gonna I was gonna mention that. And this guy, he goes, "Oh, we got a juicy pills over here. We got a juicy Let's just one? go do that one. Uh -uh. They got." Fucking shirts of don't, juicy. It's got to be good. Don't call it the pills when it's not. That's that's not. Jeez. Whew. All right. I mean, okay. Uh, again, not a hazy hey, pay, hazy it, IPA it's guy. A so hazy help me IPA. God, if this is good, I'm going to be so happy. Hop cuddle. Uh. Yeah, it's 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 got a shitload of fruit in it. It's got. Jeez, pineapple, grapefruit. Apricot. You know, I could not. I mean, if you're a hazy IPA drinker, you're going to love this because it's really fruity. 6.2. Really fruity and really good. But I, again, I, I wouldn't buy this in a 16 ounce, but it's really good. I think you'd like it. Right. Cinder Block Brewing Company here in North Kansas City. Oh, by the way, their merch is great. They got really cool merch. That's it's the um, one thing they got going yeah, for them so far. Really, that really good. Merch. And great staff, uh, great atmosphere. Highly recommend if you're in Kansas City, make the short drive uh, over here. The beer so far, I mean, it, it's 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 good. It's it's, but there's a lot of things that go into a, an evening out. And uh, yeah, maybe it's just okay. It's another. Is this a West IPA. Coast or, or or a New England uh, or a Midwest? What is it? It's the IPA. It's their flagship. Your IPA. guess is as good as mine. It does not say. It's their flagship it's 7 .2 IPA. Seven point two alcohol though. Don't know, man. Yeah, it's next door. Yeah. It's yeah. I the blog. I I don't know. I mean, it's doable. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump out on, on the line and say that's one of the best IPAs I've ever had. But um, overall, the beers are, um, um, they don't have a lot. I mean, it doesn't look like they got a lot of food. No, <laughs> but a great atmosphere, a great night. Man, you could come here and spend the whole night and have a great oh, time drinking could. their beer and enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying the music. I don't know what it's like on a Tuesday night, but I'll tell you. No, the Friday night is pretty good. good. Yeah. All right, the old traditional Bach. This is the dark beer. Pavers Porter. Everybody, every brewer should have a Bach beer or a Porter. And this is their rendition. Here we go. I wish it was February. 5.6. Oh, God. Oh, no. God. All right, so that, oh, shit. No way. <laughs> No way, and and uh, I'm not a really big Bach drinker, but I, I'll have one every now and then. Love black and tans, by the way. You know, while we're on the subject, and it's not, it's off of this, but if you ever have a black and tan by Yingling, oh my gosh, it's good. Oh, really? really? I just throw that out there. I've never had a Yingling. We but, talked about that's the oldest brew. That's the oldest brewery still try, running, right? I did try. You it. are not going to like. Oh that. God, that's bad. Should have got the custom. 
Well, fuck, we still would have chose some of these, I would think. Oh, soccer's on here, too, by the way. Yeah. Well, it said it's women's, right? Yep. The, the women's USA watch. women's team is playing. It's so uh, that, again, is, you know. The whole it's, city's it's fucking what, soccer. That's what now. Kansas City is all about. Obviously. You know, craft beer. Uh, again, we are saying come to try it. You'll love the atmosphere. The beer is worth it. This is sixteen dollars, guys. I mean, really and truly. I mean, it's uh, NKC, baby. Uh, NKC. <laughs> I mean, hey, Kansas City's got a lot of breweries, but what I'm finding is they're not all good. So, we walked out of as many breweries today as we walked in. More I'll than ever. You. More on that later. Doing, yeah, absolutely. More on that later. Watch, on the, watch the follow-up for that story. <laughs>